Rosella Chkembri is the person who lives the dream every day. For the past probably 20 years, although I didn't know it 20 years ago, I started pottery in 1994. I think the most thing that I really enjoyed was getting muddy, because when you're starting off, it's very muddy. It goes everywhere, and then you start trying to control, and you cannot control clay. Clay controls you most of the time. It was also very therapeutic. It was something I went to every week, and then twice a week, and then three times a week. It was always a learning experience. So actually, I think I got hooked then without knowing it. Then I bought my first wheel and I started working at home. And then I bought my first kiln and off it went. Once you get the name, you're fine, but I haven't met a potter who's rich unless he's dead. So it takes a long time. In pottery, it, we talk about 50 years, 60 years in pottery, and then you become famous. You, you actually become well-known more than famous because we work, because we enjoy working with clay. Believe in yourself and do it for yourself. Don't do it because your parents told you and don't do it because your teacher told you. If you feel it, just do it. And don't be afraid. There are mistakes along the way. The important thing is not to make the same mistake twice. Make new mistakes, but learn. Learn from your mistakes and listen. And once people start to know you, I mean, I'm always surprised. Oh, you're Rosella? And I say, yes. But I'm very proud when they say, oh, Space for Clay, we've heard about you. Oh, good. So people come and they give ideas and people pick them up. So there's always the exchange. And I think that's basically what I work for. It's tactile. The minute I walk in and touch clay, I feel I'm home. So if there's anything wrong in my life or there's something upsetting in my life, then I come here and I touch clay and I do whatever needs to be done here. And this is where I kind of come to terms with being sick or having something or losing somebody or having something go wrong. I mean, the one thing that any potter dreads is opening the kin and finding every single piece has broken. So it's like, fine, shut the kiln, walk away, calm down and start again. Because clay gives you so much, but it is also a hard taskmaster. It's, if you don't do things as you're supposed to do them, the clay will answer you. And you have to be careful what you work with. You have to think about it. You have to be clever about it. You have to see what works and what doesn't. And you have to admit that you don't know everything. And there's always the fulfilling that you've learned something new. You've spoken to some, or you've passed on your knowledge. Or, you know, it's always, that gives me a very stable, calm existence. That's what clay gives me. It gives me a lot back. So basically, that's why probably I'm in love with clay. Mm -hmm.